okay, in true form, my video and my equipment and my electronics doing what it has been doing, just cutting out on me, which I, <laughs> I'm just going to laugh. And I'm just going to go and put this as a link as part two to this reading. Anybody that wants to come back and listen to me read about the number seven, I'm going to do that for those that didn't like the cutoff there. Um, I'm going to the protection message of this. It says, no, not the protection, the prosperity, I'm sorry. Everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most precious potential. To get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money, which was what I was saying when we cut out, that that was talking about the outdated beliefs of, um, you know, our past and about ourselves and about being in lack and not having enough to offer. Um, and of course, being out of, a little bit out of balance there with you know our, our sacral chakra and our ability to create and our, which is our connection to source because we are source creators right so the true meaning of your p personal currency lies in your skills your talents and abilities and most important your core beliefs which is what I just said everything flows from your inner world and is reflected in the outer one when grateful to serve you align your prosper prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness you can expect miracles. Everything you need will come to you easily. So that is the message and advice from the angels for this new moon is to get into that flow, to realize that you are source creation and you're here to be a creator in co-creation co with source. So when you get into that core belief that that's who you truly are, you can then flow more easily and you can create more easily and everything kind of comes together. I'm not saying there's no work involved. This isn't like, I mean, Santa did appear here in the reading for us, but... Um, he is just getting us into alignment, right, with that exchange. So when we know who we are and what we have to offer and, you know, have that energy of being more than and less than, then it's easier for this energy that Santa embodies of generosity from the universe to give back to us. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Um, anyway, I'm going to link this as the ending in part two or whatever to the reading itself. So I'm not going to be deterred. Uh, I've been having so much problems with my electronics and then we're entering into Mercury retrograde which I don't like to play too much into that <laughs> I don't like to give it too much attention um, but I've already been having problems but I'm not letting it stop me See, this, this, this is the key just keep on going, make another link and keep on going, don't let anything stop you um, because that would be like one of those rigid walls right? so we don't want to allow that we want to just keep on we want to get in the boat here and we want to keep on flowing so I'm going to let everyone go. Happy 4th of July. Also, of course, happy new moon, solar eclipse, and cancer. And happy creating to everyone. And I'm sending everyone angel blessings, of course, and oceans and oceans and oceans of love.